On the number of poles, if you don't know, you can set it to 2 and then finish the file. Download the file to the C3 and then go into the optimization screen to look at the motor's feedback position. Rotate the motor by hand one revolution and you can see if it's off by a factor of 2 or 3 or more and then go back and edit the motor file. If this custom motor is based on a standard Parker motor, these should be the same as the standard. To verify, click on Automatic Settings of Commutation Parameters on the bottom. This will download a configuration to the Compax 3 and rotate the motor, determining these directions and angles. It'll warn you that it's going to overwrite what's in the drive. So if you need to, you can click Cancel and go back to the main screen to upload. Uncheck the discontinuous position feedback. This is only for motors where it's not possible to measure the position over an entire revolution. Next, it'll start rotating the motor. Click which direction it's rotating. Step 5 shows whether the commutation or feedback sensor directions had to be invert. Click Finish. This takes you back to step 9, populating the feedback direction and the commutation angle. The custom motor file is created when you click Finish. You can then see the motor file under User Defined Motors. And there's my motor. The Compax 3 will be blinking red light, which is no configuration. So it's erase the configuration after you, we've done the automatic setting of commutation parameters. So you'll need to go through the drive configuration to select the new motor file. We're done in the motor manager, so you can exit out of this window. Okay, so now we're back into the main screen in the C3 Server Manager software. All I want to do is jog my motor, so if I go into the device selection, I'm just going to set this up as a base amplifier. And go into the drive configuration. You'll see your motor under user defined motors. Now in torque control mode, you won't be able to jog it from the optimization screen, so pick at least velocity control. We'll leave the initial set to the default of nothing. If you're using an I11, T11 or higher, go ahead and deactivate the limit switches. Go ahead and download to the drive configuration. If you're using I11, T11 or higher for the homing mode, it's helpful if you select the homing mode as 35, and that way you can reset the position to wherever you are. By default on power up, the Compax 3 thinks wherever you are is the zero position. You want to go ahead and open the optimization screen, so click the little checkbox and then X. In the optimization screen, in the status display is top right hand corner. Under the status values, you can go ahead and grab the actual position, object 680.5, drag it up to the top. You can also grab the speed, the actual speed, 681.9. And if you go into setup, enable, and then enable the setup mode, which takes control over it from the Compax 3, you can energize the motor by clicking the latch on the right hand side then you, you're able to jog the motor both left and right and see that the position and the speed is changing in the top right hand corner. If you want to change these speeds, click on the Enter Setup Test Move Parameters. Under General Setup Parameters, this has the jog velocity and the accelerations. So now you can see that you're successfully jogging the motor with a custom motor file. One last item, if you want to email the motor file that you created, to another user, there's two ways to do it. 
First, if you have the C3P file already configured for the drive configuration, when you open this, the C3 Servo Manager software looks at the motor file, and if it's not in the motor library, we'll add it to motor library. So if you've already have the file for the Compax3, which is a .c3p file extension, you can just email that. The second way, for only the motor file and not the drive configuration, go back into the motor manager. And then you can go into File, Export Motor, and then navigate to your particular motor under User Defined Motors and press OK. This will export it as a .xml file. From there you can attach it to your email. The user would then go into File, Import Motor, navigate to the file, and then open it. And this will import it into the user's motor manager library. This concludes this module on how to create a custom rotary servo motor file for the Parker Compact 3 drive. Have a nice day.